Welcome to Module 11. This chapter is full of time-saving tools. These tools have names such as building blocks and quick parts. These tools take a little bit of time to set up, but they save you a lot of time in the long run because you can use them over and over again. You may have noticed that when you're working on a project of some sort, the preparation for the project takes a lot more than what you might think of as actually working on the project. For instance, you may decide to paint your bedroom. Long before you're ready to paint, you'll need to get ready to paint. First, you will need to choose your paint color and texture. This may be a tough decision, and you may want to try out two or three colors and take a few days to decide how each color looks depending on the time of day. Once you've made that decision, you'll need to get the room ready. You'll need to remove any pictures or shelves on your walls. If you plan on rearranging these objects, you'll need to fill the holes, let the filler dry for several hours, and then sand it smooth. You'll need to move all the furniture away from the walls. You should also wash the walls, which means they will need time to dry. You'll probably want to protect trim and ceilings by putting tape along them so you don't accidentally paint them the same color as your walls. If you're a little bit of a sloppy painter like I am, you'll also want to cover furniture and floors with plastic. All of this takes a while, but when you do finally get to the point of putting paint on your walls, it goes quickly because you've prepared well. Building blocks may seem like that. You'll need to pay careful attention to the steps as you create the building blocks, and it may seem as though it is taking a while to get ready, but when it comes time to create a document with this tool, it will go very quickly. The best part is that you can use the same building block over and over again. You will only have to create it once. This chapter also spends time going over ways to customize your autocorrect options. This is very similar to the way you would have customized your spell check options in the previous chapter. These are found under the File tab and then under Options. This isn't something you will do very often, but I suggest you pay careful attention when you're practicing this. As I told you in the previous module, you'll have the opportunity to take the Microsoft Specialist Certification Exam at the end of the semester, and these skills usually show up on the exam.